hi and welcome to la la land so today i'm gonna share with you guys i'm gonna go straight to the point and share with you guys a story that happened with me when i dated a russian guy and it just happened recently so before i went to i went to paris in august and before i went there i met this guy and he was russian and i've never dated a russian before and i didn't know anything about russians really and i really wanted to and he seemed very nice so i thought you know like why not so while i was in my vacation in paris he was still talking to me we would chat every day and i every day and i felt like he was right there with me so once i came back to the u.s and we had our first date he was like a gentleman he picked out a really nice restaurant and everything and i'm just like oh. anyway oh by the way i'm o i'm open to dating anyone so i'm not just like oh i'll just date black men and so now um after our date everything was so good and i asked him what he does for a living and he said that you know he goes on trips sometime for work but not all the time and he does deliveries and he was just kind of like not too informative about what he does for a living so and i'm not the type of person to keep digging and digging and asking him so i thought maybe he told me it's an immigrant job and he wasn't proud of it so I figured like I shouldn't ask him too much question about it so now fast forward we having the best time we would go on dates and everything and um and I asked him have you ever been with a black girl and he was like no but I like you that was like the first sign I should have seen like if you white black or whatever like you dating someone and they've never did somebody in your own race that's a major red flag especially the fact that he was 35 yeah so i thought like okay so he's never dated a black girl okay and then there were little things like he would say he would say things like oh i'm more attracted to european features and then when i question him he would blame the fact that he has an accent and i have an accent too and I felt like we connected the fact that you know I have an accent he had an accent I felt connected to him like that and I was like okay so I know you don't speak English that well but then to say that you more attracted to European features and you're dating a black girl that's kind of like you know I don't know how I feel about that and he kind of persuaded me so I stayed with him until he told me um sweetie i'm gonna go on a work trip for two weeks and i won't be able to talk on the phone because i have other guys next to me and if i'm talking on the phone they're gonna make fun of me and me like an idiot or i wanted to believe him i believed every word that he said i was like okay so a week went by and then the, by the second week, I sent him videos. I'm like, oh my God, I miss you. I know you said you didn't want to talk on the phone and you know, I just miss you. And he waited a long time to message me back. And he's like, yeah, I'm sorry. I know that's not what you wanted, but you know, I'll just go. And uh, when I come back and I'll explain everything, I don't go on many trips, it's just once in a while. When he came back, you know, women, we have an intuition. So I kind of felt like something was different about him the way he walk and mind you for someone who doesn't who claims he doesn't speak english that well he would use huge terms after like you know i noticed that every single night we would talk to each other and on in the weekends we would see each other and then we weren't seeing each other or talking to each other then i told him okay you know what I can't do this anymore then he's like yeah i think we should stop i think it's not the right the right time right now um we should stop and it was just weird like if you if a guy is willing to just let you go just like that when he was so persistent in the more in the beginning there's something wrong so i was like okay who is she like there has to be another girl like let me tell you ladies something a guy would not leave a p without having another p to replace it he's not you know he's just not so i knew there was another girl he's like no there's some other girl it's just my job like i'm very busy right now i can't you know i can't do a relationship right now that's why so after i was on his instagram this woman messaged me and she's from russia so apparently 
the guy he had a girlfriend five months he met her way before me he's been in a relationship with her and they in a long distance relationship and she find out and the reason why he couldn't like she can when he said that he was going on in work for two weeks he was spending time with her because she came on vacation here so he was spending time with her while he told me he was at work and then after i guess after she went back their relationship probably got stronger where they were talking more so then he didn't have time to talk to me anymore and he didn't have he couldn't keep up both relationship when i confronted him i was like so you had a girlfriend all this time and he's like yes like you know actually while being with her um i realized that you know i like her better his real personality came through he became very racist he said racist things to me he said i chose her because she's white she's russian and you black he even like mentioned oh um you know i want my kids to look like me and you know i prefer her i realized like i love her more because of the way she looks and i'm like are you kidding me i'm like wait i did not trick you when i first met you i didn't put on a mask and i didn't say oh here's me and i'm white i'm russian but he knew i was black he knew all of that in the beginning and for him to come and then like look at me and be like oh yeah so i chose her because she's russian and i want my kids to look like me and i'm just like so you basically wasted my whole time and you're so fucking fake because you act like you in love with me like i'm telling you like he was so possessive every time like after I, f I leave work i have to tell him and then he measures the time when i get home and then i will call him on the phone we'll talk on the phone for hours and if after all that he stays in my face and said that yeah i didn't really like you um you know i picked her because she's this she's that and i was like why and then the thing is she, in russia she does this i work in a bank she also work in a bank so there's not we do the same thing for work so it was the exact same thing that we do so it wasn't like he told me she was smarter than me or she was more beautiful or you know she was slimmer it wasn't anything like that it was simply because she was white and he told me that with his own mouth when he said that that really hurt me and that really made me think like wow like you know i've dated outside my race before but i've never dated a guy who made me feel like i wasn't a woman i was just like an alien like from him like i was so different from him the moral of this lesson is especially for women of color or if you thinking about dating outside of your race you have to be very careful even though like you open to dating there's a lot of danger you have to be very careful you have to make sure that the person that you're dating likes you for you and you're not being fetishized and really get a feel and listen to your heart because that's the thing that i didn't do i didn't listen to my heart and before i i used to believe like you know they were good in people and even guys like when they're really nice i used to think like oh my god like this guy is so nice and you know i'll trust him but no the nice ones those are the ones that you have to watch out for those are the ones that will sit you down tell you oh honey you're coming over don't eat you know stay hungry uh come to my house i'm going to cook you something and then you go to their house you starve yourself the whole day you starve yourself for a whole week and you go to their house they cook you a nice dinner they put it in front of you and before you take a bite to take the food away that's exactly what he did he made it seem like he was so nice and i started seeing signs way after i guess the first sign was probably him saying he was going away for work for two weeks but then some people they do have jobs where they have to go away so i trusted him but it was just like the end after she came back she went back and it was just like yeah so yeah so that's what it is ladies no matter where you're from if you are open-minded about dating outside of your race make sure that you date someone make sure you know their heart make sure you listen to your heart and make sure that you pay attention to every sign and be honest with yourself when you see those signs you stop it right there oh. anyway there will be more stories i want to share with you guys but yeah and that's it Sub subscribe <laughs> bye